I mean, overall, to be honest, Göring really blew us away with the selection of end mills. Um, you know, being able to see a quicker material remover rate, a bigger depth of cut at a faster speed and feed, tooling lasting longer, which really optimises your changeover. All around, everyone in the company was happy for it. My name's Josh, I'm the project manager here at Canterbury Tools. Uh, here at Canterbury Tools, we pride ourselves on making press tooling, everything from single operation through to progression, anything from small fine blanking work up to large automotive. Here we use a lot of CNC machining, uh, press tools can be quite complicated projects over times. Over the years, technology's advanced, what used to be done on manual machining now has been replaced by CNC work. We try to use as much as we can in the CNC side, so everything from three axis machines ranging from smaller sizes up to larger three, and three axis machines ranging up to three metres. Um, we also have a five axis simultaneous machine, which can be really helpful when you're trying to cut tricky angles. So we take a massive pride here in what we select as our tooling. As I say, having to cut such tough materials on a daily basis can be something where your tool life really has to matter. Um, it's not like your everyday mild steels and aluminiums where you can get away with tools for a long time. When you're cutting things like D2 and you're running quite intricate forms with a high metal removal rate, you can really get through your tools quite quickly. We was actually introduced to Goering, um, I believe it was through the Max show about 18 months ago. Um, we've always prided ourselves here on trying to be on the forefront of cutters constantly. Um, I mean, it's an ever-evolving industry, so you really have to keep up with what you were doing. Um, we were introduced to Go and I say as the Mac Show. We got talking to them there, and they made a lot of promises that every tooling company you ever see makes the same promises, you know. We'll increase your tool life, we'll cut your tooling costs, quicker material rates. And at the time, we were in the market to try and increase what we were doing. We already thought we were using really good cutters, um, but as always, we're always open to be improved differently. Um, Goering actually introduced us originally with a cutter they ran as the diver. Um, and that was what they pushed on us to start with. They said, you know, look, we've got this cutter, our Goering diver. We really think this is going to be the application for what you guys do through and through every day. So after a bit of backwards and forwards, we eventually decided, OK, Goering came in, they supplied us with some cutters so we could put them up against what we were using at the time. To our surprise, they completely annihilated the tooling we were using at the time. Um, we were seeing an increase in nearly three times to what our old cutters were doing, which was a massive surprise to not only sort of the management side of the staff here, the accountants who were dealing with the cost of it, and to the machinists on the shop floor who were really, really seeing the difference in what they were doing every day. So as a result, we took the scutter then through quite rigorous trials and testing. So we saw, let's say, a three times increase in our tooling life, running at the speeds and feeds we were using compared to our old cutters. So with help from Goering, with help from their odds like the Navigator and through their engineers and reps, um, we really helped hone in the skill and we started really pushing these cutters to within an inch of their life to be honest to see what we could get out of them. We were increasing our cutting depths and step overs by sort of one to one and a half times as well as increasing feeds and speeds while maintaining a higher cutting life than what we were receiving before. Going over to Goering Cutters what it really helped with was a, the quicker material removal rate meant jobs were on machines for less time. Um, I mean, that's a massive thing. If you're doing CNC machining, the job always wants to be on and off as quick as possible. Um, the other thing is not having to change the cutters as often. There's a big issue in CNC with the downtime in between changing cutters. If a cutter breaks or it just gets to the end of its tooling life, you have to stop, reset up your new cutters, and then go again and that can be you know a process that can take anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes if you think you've got a cutter that lasts an hour say and you change over a cutter to last four hours you've cut out three changes in between a job cycle 
I'd say we're going with one of the main advantages to the, the next day delivery. I mean, even we have same day delivery here sometimes when we're really stuck, they can help us out. Sometimes we'll get customer of ours who will have a breakdown. If it's an automotive breakdown, it can be a very costly experience. And they will want items repairing as soon as they can. They'll ask us to pull night shifts, day shifts, whatever we need to do to get the job done. Sometimes you might not necessarily have the tooling in stock that you need to do the job. So being able to offer customers the service of being able to do jobs in a short lead time, because we can get the cutters in time to do the job.